glad to see you've made it. I don't know how you did it, but then again, you survived that giant elevator crash, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Also, again, I apologize for hitting you over the head. In fact, it is for this reason that I believe we should not meet face to face. You see, for whatever reason, I am prone to violent instincts, and I do not trust myself to not give in to them again. I have locked myself inside of a surveillance room. That way I can help without being a danger to you. We are currently on the lowest floor to remain active before everything went awry. There are many floors below us, but they've all remained closed and abandoned for quite some time now. So just make sure not to fall. As for your children, I don't know exactly where they're being kept, but I know someone who does. Head to the aquatic sector. That's where he resides. It just hit me that you need the keycard to operate the cable car. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Literally everyone had a copy. It's how you'd get from station to station.
You've had a rough day, I can tell. You diligently wait for the moment you leave this wretched place with your child in hand, I can also tell. Not to undermine your effort, but I fear that moment may never come. I cannot let it happen, and I will gladly show you why, but after I do, you take my advice. Leave this place while you still can. Erase it from your memory. Move on and forget any of this ever happened. And I promise you, tomorrow will be a better day. Circumstances force you to do things that are out of your nature. When I feel that I'm straying too far off my original course, I head to the room I found me meditating in to mentally regroup. I come to this place, and then I am reminded that what I'm fighting for is worth all of this pain and suffering. Of course, none of this is real, but it all could be. I have never had actual sun rays touch my skin. Can you imagine that? And I yearn for the day that they finally do. I need the children to achieve that. But do not worry. I will practice the safest of procedures. Whatever I decide to do with the adults, I will make sure to keep one alive and sane so that the surviving children are delivered to the surface safe and sound. And of course, to deliver me to where I choose to be. Oh, to live the simple life of a completely brainless jellyfish, just munching on shrimp and avoiding getting eaten by turtles all day. You never appreciate how calming it is to have no conscience until you have one. I admire your courage, so I am giving you the chance to walk away. Take it. That way you won't lose both your life and the chance to see your child. No liver, no intestines. But most importantly, no pancreas. You, sir, need to have more organs. What am I supposed to eat when there's nothing to eat? Guess I'm going to have to look elsewhere.
You are not one of them. You are not one. You need to hide. They are coming.
What happened to you is one of Stinger Flynn's tricks. He left for the progressive sector, but we have something more important to deal with right now. See Nab Nab's room? It's open now, which means he's inside. He's on the hunt, and it's too dangerous to do anything in this state. We have to deal with him. Luckily, I have a solution, but you won't like it. Head to the medical sector, and we'll talk there. Nav escaped, it wasn't long before workers started to disappear. Of course, precautions and trading can only get you so far, so we had to think of a more permanent solution. Nabnalina was that solution. We had a theory that Nabna was as aggressive as he was due to his loneliness. We never got to prove his theory right, as the collapse happened during the surgery. That's where you come in. You'll be carrying out the final steps of said surgery. Jivanium-related procedures are very delicate, so I'm going to need you to pay very close attention to these instructions. The hard part is already done. All you need to do is mix the right concentrations and inject her with it about... six times? The machine with the droplet symbols is where that's done. When it's time, the screen will light up with a symbol of the needed concentration. For simplicity, the concentrations have been represented by colors. Mix and achieve the right concentration, then collect it in the syringe and give it to Nabnali. The machine with the colored pipes will occasionally shift to the wrong colors, and when that happens, use the given tongs to revert them all to their normal state of green. The buttons on the walls will also malfunction at times. When that happens, hit any ones that are lit with your drone. The excess gevanium that you can find in the room will deplete when anything malfunctions or when a concentration is needed to be delivered. The procedure stops if any of the four depletes completely, and what happens next is never good. Only the best of us perform gevanium procedures, but we don't have much of a choice. Good luck.
I hope that wasn't too hard. Anyway, grab the audio disc and head back to the aquatic sector and play it on the big speaker in the lounge. Time for a spider uni. At last, he's no longer miserable. I'm surprised they both weren't originally members of the mutants below. They'd certainly fit. This is...
You have overstayed your welcome here. I even made you an offer, but guess what? Accepting it is long overdue. Don't worry, I won't get rid of you or collect you just yet. I was never one to abide by waste. An old friend needs you a lot more than I do. They too are on a path to achieve peace of mind. I already have more than enough subjects to move forward with my aspiration and my ultimate mental refinement. You just take a little nap while I transfer you to where you're meant to be. Hey you, you're finally awake. Can't blame you for taking a nap, feels like we've been in this car forever. So Singer, when are we arriving at this place called Beach? I believe we are lost. Nice. You had one job and you messed that up somehow. I am struggling to locate the being who asked for your opinion. Can you at least put some music on since we're gonna be out here for a while? That's what I'm talking about. Fila, what do you think about this? Pasta. Captain, what about you? Captain? Okay, decent answer. Can you stop vocalizing for just one second so I can focus on the road? What do you mean, focus on the road? We've been going in circles for hours. Never trust a jellyfish, am I right, Opila? If your pathetic mouth utters another infuriating sentence, I will stuff your whole body in one of those stupid party hats in your head.
much of a talker. Plus, it's scary here. That big green guy keeps checking in on us. I think he believes we're some sort of dolls. We could use that to our advantage to try and escape. He cannot know that we're alive. Every time we move or change something in the room, let's make sure that it's back to the way it was before he checks in on us again. This way, we can inch our way towards escaping, all while he doesn't suspect a thing. In other words, from his point of view, the room must remain unchanged. When he's close, the lights change color, so run back to your chair when the lights change. I don't know where to start though, so you give it a try. Sit down! He's coming! No! That's not how the secret club's entrance is supposed to be! Sit down! He's coming! Come help me solve this equation! You're right. Maybe now isn't the best time for education?
The doors weren't left like that originally! Maybe now isn't the best time for education?
I'm heading back to class and I expect you to be there before the fourth lesson starts. Trust me, you do not want to miss that one. Children are eagerly awaiting my return, so up I go.
We hate you or get banned banned. We hate you or get banned banned. Hand over your pancreas. Three stones with one bird. Hand over your pancreas. Hand over your pancreas. We hate you or get banned banned. Three stones with one bird. Three stones with one bird. Three stones with one bird. Hand over your pancreas. Hand over your pancreas. Hand over your pancreas. Three stones with one bird. Hand over your pancreas. Okay, bird riding is a new one, I'll give you that. What drives you forward so vigorously? I refuse to accept that it's your protective parental instincts. Oh, I know. Someone has given you false hope. Promised you what you want when all along they had one thing on their mind. Pancreases. At first, I was confused by how everything was going perfectly in your favor, despite you never being here before. And then it hit me. Someone has to have been guiding you. And as with most things, I was right. You did have help. Your friend here has helped me tremendously. Thanks to him. I bore witness to very vital information. What information, you ask? Well, when my turn comes, I will simply prevent myself from turning into what he turned into.